the ASM artist. Hello. Welcome. filming this in 4K on a brand new lens. And I think you guys are really, really, really gonna like this new lens. The autofocus is even faster than my other lens. And it just, oh, I can already tell it looks so good. This tiny little bit of color correction. That'll be awesome as per usual. We're getting this effect with the microphone by just putting this, this light directly behind it. I like that effect though. You get that glowing look. Godly hand sounds. Three. I'm just gonna leave in the background noise. I actually like background noise and a lot of you guys have told me to stop worrying so much about it so I will do that. Thank you for uh, just enjoying the candid nature of my content. Oh my goodness, that's so good. And it looks like it's not focus hunting like the last video I recorded with my other lens. I had also accidentally turned off eye and face detection for the autofocus, so that was a huge part of that. <laughs> my fault, not the camera's. Visuals is supposed to be about the sounds. I guess that could be the staple of this rendition of Godly Hand Sounds. I should uh, try to make, you know, I should try to make some of the Godly Hand Sounds in the other series uh, certain things consistent, but also try out different things in different episodes of them. So it keeps everything interesting. So this one could be a little bit more visual heavy because that's just something I've been doing uh, more frequently recently. Ch -ch -ch -ch. And I'm just loving this autofocus. I'm just loving this autofocus. We're gonna grab. I can't get too too close to the lens. Grab to his pool. But oh my lord! Oh, it's so good. This is the first prime lens I've gotten for the Fuji. If you know what that means. Grab. So this is a 23 millimeter prime. A 35 millimeter equivalent on full frame is an ASB C camera. If you dislike what you're hearing about the equipment, the hands coming, the hands coming, the hands coming. that basically means that this lens is the first step into a wide angle lens um, without really having much distortion. But it's a very good focal length. Um, it's good for like if you're doing photography, like having a subject and then some of the environment, which is perfect for its focal length. I've been recording at a lot of my videos. Because um, I like to have a little bit of the background and I don't want to be too big in the frame, so this is this is perfect. And uh, I'm trying to do more professional photography. If you've been uh, following the community tab, I know I shout this out a lot, but. I do a weekly photo of the week of original pictures I have taken, and I um, just got this lens the other day, but I've already gotten a bunch of pictures with it, so 
here maybe this week or next week i'm going to be showing off because it's just it's oh, it's so good i was doing some pixel peeping as they say and um you know this is how the picture would be uh, like i took a picture of my dog buddy the older dog and this he was about this big in the frame because this you know how this lens excels is about a subject this large in the frame if you get too close it can focus at a pretty close distance but it's it's softer than than you know it does this is the best it, this is the best thing it does okay i know i know i'm overemphasizing that but i took a picture like that of my dog buddy and i zoomed in on like you know he's this big in the frame i zoomed all the way in on his eye and it was so detailed even that zoomed in you could see each individual hair and like his eyelashes and like the detail in his, the irises of his eyes it's just it's like professional it's like the first it's like the clearest picture i've ever taken i'm so so happy with it and i know as i, as I like keep taking pictures with it i'm gonna take like a real like really good picture that's also compositionally um really something but even just like getting some detail shots like taking a picture of just the rocks and the ground and zooming in and just being like holy cow you can see so much detail that was so fun Do it. I'll get some boxing gloves and do an ASMR fighting you to sleep or something like that. <laughs> Since a lot of you guys have been kind of finding that funny. Oh, I love me some nail sounds. It's just because I keep bumping this light, I always end up doing this to kind of just acknowledge that I'm bumping it. finger strength it takes to, to be able to do hand sounds for a prolonged period of time. By the end of like a 20 minute video I'm dying here. accentuate how, how good it looks so I had to record this in 4k I don't know if I mentioned that yet but that's definitely gonna be in the title because <laughs> 4k ASMR is the pinnacle of the quality and I try to do some cool thing with the lighting here where there's some really warm light and some really cold light and in between so hopefully that looks interesting and I can make it look even cooler after I do a little post processing as they say in the industry, which I am obviously a part of. <laughs> it's a joke, it's a joke. If I was in the industry, I wouldn't bump this light so much. I'd be more professional.
whenever I have godly hand sounds mode activated. It sounds like this when I squeeze the mic. Squeeze the mic. really cool especially on like this arm where it's like orange on this side and the blue on the I think that looks cool you know as per usual I always have to give myself a pat in the back on the lighting I always offer some reason I always have to say like I really like the lighting in this one and I, I realize looking back that I say in like literally every video I have to stop <laughs> it's becoming a problem guys you gotta <laughs> You gotta hold me to that one. <laughs> Gucci? Oh, Gucci. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, guys, if you haven't, uh, if you aren't part of the Discord, or if you haven't been keeping up with the community tab, I've been having a recent string of bad luck. <laughs> I, um, recently wrecked my car, unfortunately. I don't want to get really into detail or anything, but it just sucks because I just recently got it, and it's looking like I need to get another car. I appreciate everyone's support. <laughs> Hopefully this YouTube thing or something can take off to help me pay for this, for this new car. <laughs>
it seems for some reason this 23 millimeters is it looks a little bit different than my other zoom lenses 23 millimeters it has to have something to do with the optics um nerdy ran about camera lenses here <laughs> the reason i've got this new lens the other lens looks good of course um fujifilm has one of the best uh kit lenses they're called the lenses that just kind of come with the camera and it's standard it, it zooms and covers a bunch of focal lengths but as you start wanting to do like more professional stuff and get a little bit more of a clear image you can get things called prime lenses which this is which is just at one focal length and it doesn't zoom in or out um and the benefit i mean that obviously sucks because if you want to get a, a, your object your subject i mean uh, bigger in your frame you have to physically move closer you can't zoom in with the lens but the upside is that the image quality is so crystal clear because there's less moving parts i'd be interested to hear your guys' thoughts of me starting to talk about photography and stuff on my other channel matt jacobs which i used to do music on now but i kind of want to turn that into a multi-purpose channel that's not necessarily asmr so if you think it'd be interesting to hear me talk more in depth about maybe like why focal lengths are important or how to you know different techniques and stuff i picked up i've been i didn't feel qualified enough to start talking about it but i've been shooting photography for a couple years now and i i feel like for the most part the the my end products are, are i'm happy with them at least and hopefully i can just keep growing as a photographer and sharing what i learned along the way but if that sounds interesting whether you're into photography or not if you just like to hear me talk or ramble about stuff um that'd be that'd be really interesting so go subscribe to matt jacobs and let your interest in that be known so so i can start doing that because that's something i've been thinking about so it'll probably be more during this coming summer when i have more time as this semester comes to an end in college. But, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was relaxing. I hope the image quality was superb and pristine. And better yet, I hope the content was also very enjoyable for you. And relaxing and everything that you would look for in your ASMR. So leave a like if you enjoyed. Um, follow me on Patreon if, if you would be interested in that to get some exclusive content. Maybe help me out indirectly because <laughs> you're on Patreon, you're getting a, you know, I'm, I'm basically creating a work for you at di different tiers. Like you're, you're getting something out of it, but indirectly helping me <laughs> afford my next car if you'd be interested. <laughs> Um, or you just keep watching the channel. That's equally as helpful. I appreciate each and every one of you. If it weren't for you, I don't know if I'd still be doing this at this point. But um, just knowing that I get to hear what you guys think about what I make in the comment section, that's just, that's huge for me. And I really appreciate you guys. You've helped out my confidence more than you'll probably ever know. Um, yeah. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you thought of this video. What do you want to see for Godly Hand Sounds Part 4, I believe, right? I'd like to know what you want to see for Godly Hand Sounds Part 4. Um, I couldn't do the Zeus entrance because it's not dark enough in here, but hopefully for the fourth one. Somebody commented about something I said in the second one, which it's crazy that how the, some of the things that you guys remember so specifically, like little things that I say and I completely forget about. It's so interesting to me. <laughs> sometimes I have to like rewatch my own videos to know what you're, what you're talking about because they sometimes sit in my YouTube for a while before I actually release them. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> um, I think I already said everything I want to say, so I'll just see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.